Yes. Today I am here to discuss question 4 of ICSC computer application paper. Now in ICSC section B you have normally 6 programs among that 4 is compulsory. So what we will be doing or what I will be doing in coming videos for every question I will be discussing one question with you all. So for today what I will do I will discuss the first question that is question number 4 in which we have constructors and parameterized constructors okay now in that question what happens we have to strictly follow the question follow the questions in the sense whatever given in the questions regarding to variables and methods we have to abide by that so what i will do now i will write a program using constructors to add two numbers very basic and simple program you don't think that you will get a program to add two numbers but from here what you can learn you can learn how to use constructors and different methods because constructors and methods will remain the same so what i will do first first thing i will import a package import java dot util dot star next whatever class name is given you have to use that class here nothing is given so i have taken add but in your question something will be given for example class employee class result class student so this we have to do here next part comes the declaration of instant variable right what is instant variable the variable which is declared inside a class and normally a single copy is available for that so here what I am using int a first variable, int b second variable and int c the third variable. So class add and these three are the instant variables. After this we will have a constructor. What is constructor? Constructor is a function having same name as a class. This is add, this is also add. Here what you will do, you will initialize it with default values. Since all are integer, so a0, b0, c0. Suppose we have any variable name string n, then that variable will have default value, something like this. Suppose, suppose, if we have a variable like this then you will initialize that variable like this so till now what we have done we have declared the class instance variable and a constructor now i am running it and then i am going to use parameterized constructor and the method i hope this much is clear in parameterized constructor again same name as a class we have to take parameters now what is this parameters suppose i have to add two numbers so I have taken two parameters int x int y. So what I will do a equals to x b equals to y. This parameterized constructor is also doing the work of input. Now if it is told in the question to use parameterized constructor then only students are going to use it. Then only students are going to use it. If student. Now, now what I will use I will use one method called void accept to input values I am using scanner that is why you have no why we take a util scanner sc equals to new scanner then within bracket you write system dot exit sorry system dot in After that, system.out.println or simply SOPLN I use. We all use system.out.println. Leave a method, uh, leave a message, enter two numbers. I hope input is not at all a problem. Since we are taking integer, we are using sc.next. So this method is clear, scanner sc equals to new scanner system dot in. 
after this i will use another two methods in one method you will be computing the sum in another method you will be displaying so i'm going to running up this so void compute in your question the method name will be given whatever method name is given you use that one so here compute is nothing just simply adding of two numbers it is so simple in your case you can have some if problem slabbing problem right display also i am using now in void display just you print it. system dot out dot println sum equals to if main is not told your class will end here if main is not told no need to do main if you are told to do main then only you will do the main suppose main has been told then how will you write main i am giving that example i hope this part is clear again i am running this public static void main in the same class you write no needs to use string args i hope this part is clear public static void main even void main will do how to create an object the name of the class is add add ob equals to new add this is the way of creating object using default constructor suppose you don't have a default constructor you have only parameterized constructor then you have to pass the parameters this one either of the this two you can do this is used when your constructor does not take the parameter this is used when your constructor takes a parameter after then you have to call the methods we have accept we have compute and then we have display here the main ends and finally the class ends after completion of this you must do variable description i hope that is clear or otherwise we will have a separate video for variable description and commenting is not at all compulsory if you get time you can use comments right we will discuss in later videos and maybe in the next video i will be teaching or showing you one or two icsc programs of constructors in my language you can say long method a program which comes in long method okay till then ponder upon it